Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, um, first off, before I start my video, I'd like to thank all of you for the views on my last video. Um, the last time I checked, it had like 84 views. That That's pretty, that's pretty amazing to me. <laughs> so anyway, um, that was all my messy flowers painting. And that's pretty good. I mean, I think it was good that I've been getting 24 views or like, because I usually get like five or six and I just kind of like, I'm starting to get a little bit more views than normal. And I'm really excited about the whole thing. <laughs> um, I never thought that like the channel would be like important to me. I just always thought it was going to be like, you know, something for my grandchildren to see, something for me to just have memories for, to show later in life or something. And now it seems like I'm really kind of getting interested in um, just having a channel all, all on its own and getting views and stuff. I mean, I don't get paid for it. <laughs> I don't really care about that, but um like for real like i've been really excited about all the views i've been getting so i want to thank each and every one of you for that um so my newest painting here it is this is the rabbit from watership down it's a um it's like a scene from the movie it's him running from his fears uh, as you can see the birds and um, dogs, other birds, wolves, kitty cats, maybe even a bear down there. Um, and he's just running from all of the fears, which, you know, when I, I used to be part of a coven and we had this um, Native American come in to run our sweat, sweat lodge. And he was giving us each a spiritual animal. And this was before I became disabled with my leg. He gave me a rabbit. And I was like, man, I wanted like a wolf or, or a, um, a leopard or even a dragon. But I got a rabbit because I was like always so like hyper and active and running around and energetic or whatever you want to think of. But... Watership Down is like one of my favorite childhood stories and books. The, um, the movie was um, pretty amazing and it stuck pretty good to the book itself. And the book isn't like a child book. This is like a full book, a chapter book that, you know, it's got, it's like an, an adult book, but you know, maybe a fourth grader or even a sixth grader would read and get a lot out of it. But this scene in and of itself really always got me because it was like he, he was, the rabbit wasn't only running from a bird or a wolf or a cat or whatever. It was like more like he was running from the fear itself, the memory of the fear. So I really... I really connect to this rabbit <laughs> and in this scene. So I thought I would definitely paint it and I use glitter. Let's see if I can get it in the light so you can literally see the glitter. I'll, I'll bring it over here. I have this spray paint that makes, makes it shiny glitter. Oh, can you see it? Like right there. I think you could see it. Oh man. It's hard to see. I didn't spray it on the rabbit. I only sprayed it on the dream part. Let's see. Oh man, I'm not, it's not, I'm not able to get it. Here we go. Maybe you could see it. In person, it looks really good. See, this is one of the things that uh, makes me not a very good YouTuber. I don't have a good camera. Or even if I did have a good camera, I, I'm i not a good photographer. <laughs> I, I have good ideas, but I don't. I don't have the ability to videotape and um what do you call it edit and do all that stuff but um yeah this this painting looks a lot better in person with the the colors 
Just wish you could see the glitter. Man, let me see. Maybe I could put it up to this light more. See, I, oh, okay. Can you see it? Maybe you could see it a little bit more better. I always say more better because I'm a big fan of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia and um, Mac always says more better. And for some, and I am from Philly, so I have a, that's where my very thick accent comes from. But um, <laughs> uh, I, I started picking up this more better because of the show and it actually comes out of my mouth uh, very easily. <laughs> I know it's not proper English. But anyway, so yeah, that's my Watership Down Rabbit and painting. And I hope you like it. And oh, oh you know what? Let me, let me show you what I've been working on. Remember this painting a while ago? And that girl right there? I don't, it's not, she is not, um, it's not like a friend of mine or anybody. She's just imaginary. So, and I haven't even finished that painting. But I made another painting. Here it is. And I don't think I'm done it. But it's the same girl. And I don't know <laughs> I don't know where she came from. But I'm working on this painting also. I think it looks pretty good. I like the way she's her hands ain't right. Her feet ain't done. Um her face ain't right. But I love the moon and the sky. So this is another painting I'm working on. Yes, I usually paint more than one painting at a time. Like I could be working on three, four, five paintings at a, at a time. <laughs> Two big ones, maybe three three paintings on a um on a watercolor booklet or I don't know. Here's one. I'm still trying to learn how to use that damn thing. Oh my god. I thought I almost had a vase done. And then all of a sudden I added a little bit too much water and the whole thing just flew. So um, hopefully soon I'll have that working. Look, here's another one I'm, pay I'm working on right now. <laughs> That's just the background. That's um, It's not even near done, so don't judge it. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. And yes, if you didn't notice, I did rearrange my art studio again, as I do. I probably do that almost every other day because, and I bought my husband a new um, chair because I hated that ugly black one. I, I usually rearrange my place every other day just it um, unblocks my brain. <laughs> so anyway, um, thanks for joining me and um, see you next time. Bye guys.